Alrighty guys, welcome back to a new series on the channel. Duncan to Dundee. It's happened. The Dundee FC, my home team, the the career mod FM series that you have all been waiting for. This is the series that is well and truly needed. Because Dundee at the moment, I just watched their game, I just played, I just played, I, just, I wish I played in the game. Would have done more than what any of the lads done. Um, I just went to Dens today. We played against Ross County, and we've been beaten again against Ross County. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the time has come. I've come home, and I knew what the plan was. I'm coming here to bring Dens and bring Dundee supporters what they deserve. After it is not looking very good, but yeah. Let's see how we do in this series hopefully you guys do enjoy it why not hit the like button as well while if you are new to the channel and uh yeah it's a it's a very good uh thing uh, having to having having a new side you know having a new having a new series as well the Leeds united career will still be there as well um Leeds united it'll be Leeds United, then maybe two Dundee games, then two Leeds United, then two Dundee, then until we finish that Leeds United save, and uh, and then we'll probably call it. Uh, we'll bring out something else in in the future. Um, but yeah, so let's just hope uh, that we we can do well at Dundee because a, a change is needed. Either McPake has to go, or I don't know. Um, Let's see, intro squad friendly, yeah, that's fine. That's all fine. Just double checking all these things. So if we save that, the first save on the actual PC version as well. We haven't done a save on the PC version because the Legion United save is on the Xbox version. I didn't have this version of the game at that current time. But this says the players that run out of contract very soon. Uh Okay, being a breakthrough prospect, we we'll probably need to sign him a new deal. Cummings and Charlie Adam, Sean Byrne, all players that will look to get into new contract come the end of the season. We're not going to do it now. I don't see the point in doing it now. Um, but yeah, so this is the tactic that I'm thinking. I don't know what we play. I don't know how we do it. I don't. I don't. I don't really know. Um, but for Dundee. And the way that I want my Dundee team to play, I want to be playing through the middle. We're not playing with wide players. I know we've got McMullen, McCowan, and so on and so forth. I think we're going to play through the middle. Excuse me. The way that I want Dundee to play, I want us to play attacking football. Now, I don't think it's going to be tiki-taka. I don't think we're that type of team. I just don't think we've got the players to play the tiki-taka systems. Uh, passing the ball in between players. I feel like we'll just give the ball away when we're going backwards. It just just doesn't seem uh, very good for us. I'm thinking more game and press because it is just press for the ball. Get the ball back, win it back, get it there. Um, because it's just it's just what we look what we look like we're more than capable of. Um. So it's going to be between these two. We might learn both of them so that we can do a bit of both and then we'll implement it both into the game. But then when you don't play with wide players and we play extremely high, it's, it's, it's an interesting one. So we're going to go with the gig and press system. Now, I don't agree with any of these formations. Probably that one, but I'm going to go with a 4-3-1-2 is what I'm going with. Where is it? This is the formation that we will be playing at Dundee this season, I think. Now, don't quote me on it. I th this is the this is the way that I probably want them to play. If we just quick pick that real quick, just to see where everyone's playing and what players he's put where. Right. So this high tempo, just slightly short passing, narrow. I just want to be. We're going to focus to play for the middle and work the ball in the box as well. I just think. We feel like we need to do that. Either actually, we'll we'll, we'll we'll let the play, we'll let the games play out because we do have um, the cup games first. Um, so that is probably one of the first things we're going to do. We're going to set up the players 
though. Like, where is Griffiths playing? So Griffiths playing as a deep line forward. I disagree with that. He is never gonna set up chances. I think more of a poacher. He's he's lazy. Uh, he was in real life for us. He he was so lazy in real life for us. So if he's a poacher, that's fine on the left. And yeah, I think the advance forward for Cummings is more than necessary. He just he just he, yeah. Like, he is a very good player. Advanced forward is probably his preferred role, in in my opinion. It, it looks like it anyway, as Griffiths being that, that poacher. The only thing is, with Griffiths being that poacher, we don't really have, like, Danny Mullen to get into the game, who is more of a pressing forward, which is what we need for when we're playing the system. I think this could be one of the, the main key factors that we do have him. We've also got Paul McMullen, who's just got bags of pace. Now, I know he can play, he, he really probably prefers to play on the wing. But I want to try him in the middle. I really want to try him through the middle. Because he's got that pace to take players on, him and McCowan can both play that camp position. McCowan probably playing it a wee bit better uh, as that striker, sh shadow striker. But not really a shadow striker, more of an attacking midfielder or um, advanced playmaker. I just think that... That is probably more what you want. Uh, we're also going to play with a ball-winning midfielder on the fend. Charlie Adam is going to be your deep lion playmaker on support. And then you're going to be the box-to-box -box midfielder. In terms of the full-back roles, it's more just support. I don't really want to put them on attack because we don't have the best of full-backs. We are going to have to play with Kami Kerr, unfortunately, which is... Very sad, I know, it is very sad, but he is going to have to have to be in the squad. Um, but apart from that, that is probably the first team. That right there is the first team to me, um, with goalkeeper legends, who we will look to replace in the future. So in terms of that, that is what we like to see. And then as we go on, we'll do the training and so on and so forth, and we'll get used to it. In terms of the uh, club expectations, and they want to develop players from the youth system, that is a very good, that's what I like to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure my manager, we are good with working with youth players, youth academy. So that is very good. We will be looking to upgrade that mm -hmm. as soon as we can as well, getting the best of the best in Dundee. Because like I said, I don't know if I did say at the start, but this series is going to be all about getting Dundee to the best team in the world. Just build that reputation in Scotland. Build build Dundee's reputation, and let's 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 go away and win the Champions League. That is that is the all-time goal. Is is doing that, and we can also maybe make it a Belgian nation as well, and try and manage Scotland and and do a bit of both. You you just you just don't know. But yeah, so this is going to be it. We need to avoid relegation. Huge. Um. And then we need to uh, reach the quarterfinal of both cups. That is going to be quite difficult. We will accept that though. We have a transfer window as well, which will be open. Um, and the finances look like thirty grand. Ooh, I mean the, the thirty grand is not not a lot of money. That's for sure. We don't have any debt or loans, um, and yeah. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal. Six hundred and thirty thousand from season tickets. Wow, that's crazy. Um, yeah, that's that's really not ideal. We're not gonna make any board requests so far. We've just got the job. There's no point in doing that. In terms of, I'll I'll do all the scouts and stuff off camera. That's stuff that I'll do and I'll show you. Uh, and the training as well. I think we'll just let the other thing do it. What's his name? The, uh, the, uh, what's his name? The, the staff to do it. Uh, we've got our first I'll do some though. things and we'll get to our first game of the season, which I don't know when that's going to be. And I need to, I need to, against Montrose, it looks like. Is it Montrose? Yeah, it looks like Montrose. So I'll come back for the Montrose game and then we'll see how we do in our first ever game here at Dens. And I'll just be getting used to all of this, all of this new stuff. Um, hopefully the board give me a new thingy. Oh, they have. We're starting to work towards our coaching qualifications. We're not going to be the best manager, that's for sure. But yeah, so I'll be... 
I understand that some people might have doubts about your lack of experience, but we're all prepared to give you the chance and our support. Who's that? Sheridan's saying that. Fuck's sake. Don't want to make any promises. Happy that with that. Let's talk about our targets for the season. Um, look, I know we're up against that uh, this season, but we've got to give everything we can to try to avoid the other than this. We have no regrets what happens. We're going to allow relegation this season, even if it means taking part in the relegation playoffs. Some people might think we're dead starts to go down, but we can definitely prove them wrong. Oh, they're all offended. You're not going to get very far under selling the quality of the squad by then. What? How could you say that, Charlie? How? You've lost that. I'm sensitive to the opinion in the room, and there's a general feeling that we're capable of a mid-table finish, as that appears then we should aim to do that exactly. Okay, they're a bit thingy. I'm worried that you're a bit unrealistic here. I don't want you to risk being judged against an impossible target. I'm pretty happy with that, and for anyone who disagrees, I hear you and strike your views. But worried about the increased expectation if you, if I think you're being a bit unrealistic, if I'm honest. <laughs> also, what, well, the way this fucking squad thing is, fucking hell. Uh, aiming to reach the final latter stages. That sounds good to me. Cool. Code of conduct. And we have made our first signing of the uh, transfer window and of the series. Is Luke Robinson on loan as a left back replacement for Jordan Marshall? Just because we didn't have any f any cover really for him. I know he says he's playing as a regular starter, but for the three hundred pounds a week, uh, uh, for the playing wage and then the unused wage, so three hundred pound a week is going to be signed at the club on a year long loan. Is it is it a loan? But as a as a, as a subby left back, I mean. He can't really complain, and we're going to ask McGee to welcome uh, welcome him into the squad, which would be grand. Um, and, I mean, in terms of other signings, there's really not been anyone, like, good, to be honest with you. It's no one at all. So we're going to go to the team selection, and this is... Oh, the team's looking tired. The team is looking tired. God knows how they're looking so tired. Um, but this is going to be the team that we're going to put out, I mean... We're going to try and put out anyway. Uh, we're not going to play you. We're going to play you and do that like that. Uh, we might have to bring out Charlie and play Gowser there as that deep lion playmaker. Just because he's a little bit, um, a little bit knackered. And then Lee might have to come up for Fontaine just as well because he's a wee bit knackered. Don't want to get players injured before the start of the season. It looks like that new young lad is going to start because Marshall's also absolutely fucking knackered. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to be the team that we're going to play. We're going to play with Legends in goal with Kerr, Fontaine, Sweeney and Robinson in the defence. McGee is the ball-winning midfielder with McGowan and Byrne in the middle with McMullen just ahead of them. And then Mullen and Jason Cummings up top for Dundee. In this first game for us, um, can we win against Montrose? You know, Montrose uh, it has to be a win. There's no way it's not. It just has to be an easy, comfortable, collective win for us. It can't be nothing written. This match we should be winning. Let's make sure we do. Come on, lads. First game in Dundee Colours. First managerial debut. And we get things off. Now, we've not got anything to say, so we're not doing that. Key highlights and a little bit faster because, you know, and I think the camera's all wrong as well. We normally play with a TV camera. Oh, that's not the right camera. TV camera, where is it? And a little bit, like, middle for his, mm, no, a bit lower on the height. And a bit more zoom. Cool move this down and that should be how we like it and we've got a free kick to defend here to begin things off oh Kerr Waddle almost scored against his old team that would have been embarrassing for us 
But yeah, in terms of the way we're playing, we want to play from the back. We want to build it up. We can't start an attack from punting the ball forward. That's, I'm sorry, but you can't. That's a good ball over the top from McGowan. And it is a goal. It's our first goal of the series. And it is Jason Cummings to start things off here. And that is what you like to see from your new, from your main man, I guess. I mean, he's not at the club anymore. He's down in Australia now, probably banging in the goals when Dundee needed the most. But hey, that's what happens when you come to the club and drink alcohol. It's, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very, very good ball over the top from Gowser. Very tight offside as well, but it's a fantastic finish from the lad. And we go three points in the start of this game. It's a really good ball though from McGowan. You don't expect it from him. You really don't. Not at times anyway, you don't. Um, but yeah, if we can keep this up, this is a very good good, good start to season. Uh, it's only one of me that we've conceded five shots. That's the only thing. Uh, they do have some very good players in Carawaddle. They might be looking at a promotion season this season. You just you just don't know. But yeah, we, we need to we need to be beating teams like this. Like I said in the pre pre match conference, this is a this is a winnable game if I've ever seen one. And uh yeah, it definitely has to be. I probably should have showed you the Ross County game since that's the next game, but we're not going to. Um as that would have been a bit more competitive. But we're done D, so uh any game's competitive with how bad we've been recently. Um every game's a tough game at Dens. As Byrne plays it in nicely, and it's Cummings again with the chance to smack that into the net. Almost, almost, almost finding it. A really good ball from McGee. But in terms of signings this summer, we ain't getting anyone in. Uh, it might be January until we get something in. Someone's maybe overperforming, and then we can sell them on and make some money. But the wages that players want at the moment is just crazy, or the players that we're getting scouted in. Are just far too much, and Mullen takes that effort from long range. Big, big chance. I do feel like working it into the box needs to be placed there because he doesn't take that shot on, and we've only had one shot on target. Um, so yeah, let's uh, hands together. I think we're doing okay. Um, because yeah, I think if we have work into the box, like I say, he doesn't take that shot in there. And uh, we can then start an attack. It's uh, it's it's not it's not ideal, but McMullen wins it now, and he plays it into Cummings. And Cummings, oh, what a chance! Once he gets fully uh, fully banging in the goals, we will have a very good, hopefully a very good uh, season on our hands. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. And they are they're in though. This isn't good. It's Lions. Oh no. Stevie's. Oh, he's given a penalty. Oh, Jordan McGee, what you doing, pal? Now this for a warm up game or for a for a our first game is not good. And James Keatings he does what he does best. He scores his first goal of the season. He scored on his debut as well. James Keatings who I'm pretty sure was at Hibs and then Hearts, or Hibs, I know he was at Hibs, um, Championship Hibs, but yeah, this is, this is looking scary, and we're having the shots, we're, we're doing everything right, apart from finding that final product, as McGee has a free kick on the edge of the box, he gives the penalty away, but he does come up with a big, big goal, as we should be, not conceding, um, but that is a huge free kick. That is a brilliant ball in to that near post. Keeper doesn't even move. Just, just standing there watching it go into the top right corner as he has to do. Um, we are going to make a wee change though. We're going to bring off McGee and bring on Anderson. Put Burn further back. Anderson can be the box to box. And then we'll bring off Sweeney for Lee. And then we'll give Sheridan a wee run out as well for Cummings. That's a second yellow card as well for uh, Kara Waddle. And against his old team, he gets himself sent off. I mean, in terms of the player himself, I think he 
he he was probably one of our better prospects at centre half in terms of thingy. I remember when he scored two goals for us in in the same game. I think it was against Hearts. But yeah, here's Robinson. Probably make a player of him if if Marshall isn't fit all the time as Ashcroft looks for the top corner. Can't quite find it. But yeah, like I say, we've got a long way ahead. This is gonna be a very prolonged series. Because like I say, we want I want to make sure that we get Dundee on the top of everything. I mean, this is going to be the season where we try to avoid relegation. Try to avoid the sack. But then next season, let's try and push for as high as possible. Maybe start off by winning a week cup. You just don't know next season. Because with, with this with this group of players, I don't see us winning a trophy. We can't comfortably beat Montrose. I really don't see us being, winning a trophy. Um, it'll be tough. Do not get me wrong, as Sheridan has a shot over the bar. Um... It will be really tough, and we need to make sure that we're doing a lot better in the in the games that are close, like this one, for example. Uh, we need to be taking chances more. So working into the box, like I've said numerous times, is going to be implemented. It looks like it. Um, we seem to be going wide quite a lot as well, I've noticed. So we might need to focus it through the middle. Just because we're not playing well with the players, and we've not got our full backs on attack, we've got them on support. If them on attack, then we could play with, like, wide, and then would be two on whatever the other strikers have, but... And then, uh, yeah, we seem to be taking loads of shots outside the box. But it's signs. It's signs of good, good progress. Uh, as much as it's only our first game, I mean, we might even wait to go and concede here to, to Stevie's. Oh, my goodness, he's hit that bar right there. Ho, ho, ho. That was a very close one. Um... Yeah, there is there is chance chances for us to to really improve this squad, but we need to get the funds in. Like I say, and we need to improve our scouting range and so on. There's a lot to do at Dundee. Oh, at least we start things off with a nice two-one win. It was not comfortable by any stretch of imagination. Um, um, I'm pleased with the performance, but frustrated because it's. Only highlights our lack of consistency. We need more of that. Okay, very well done, lads. Let's just get the morale up because I don't know if I'm going to show it or not, but the, the start, oh, God, the press conference at the start there. Oh, boy. Charlie Adam was not having it, avoiding relegation. He, he He's too big for his boots. But, yeah, so that's going to leave off episode one for today's uh, Dundee series. If you have enjoyed... Why not slap a like button on the video and let me know in the comments what players do you think I should sign? Do you think I should bring Zach Rodden in the into the club um, or try and force his way into Dundee? I mean, I think the lad will be worth quite a quite a hefty fee in this game. He norm, normally is uh, quite expensive. Eight to eighty-five thousand. He's wanted by Livingston and Ross County. It does seem likely he will be very difficult to get a hands on, hands on to anyway. His contract does expire, so we can get him on a pre and maybe try buy him as well in in January as long as he doesn't leave them anytime soon. But yeah, thanks for watching today's video, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment on the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.